Hey, good morning, boys and girls. Uh, I'm gonna be a little serious today about something. I know we try to have fun when we're doing these YouTube videos, but I think something very important I wanna to talk to you about is about memorizing scripture. And I know lots of times we say, take this verse, go memorize it, we'll give you some Bible bucks. And, and that's true, we're gonna do that, we wanna reward you for what you're doing, but I also want you to know that when you memorize scripture, you're putting it in your heart. You're putting it inside of you. And that way when you're in times of trial or sadness or, or, or even in joy, you can go back and you can say those verses of scripture because you've got them in your heart. But I know memorizing is really hard. I remember trying to, to do the Pledge of Allegiance. I didn't think I was ever gonna get the Pledge of Allegiance. And, and the National Anthem, some people still don't have that. So I want you to find ways that you can memorize scripture. So when I was growing up, um, I had my Bible and I had it in a little case and I carried it and I always made sure my hands were clean and I didn't eat when I was around my Bible. So I didn't want to spill anything on it or get it dirty. But I got to thinking about that and I'm like, wow, this is my Bible and I need to be in my Bible and I need to study it and see God's word. So I started uh, really going in and digging in and in my Bible, I started writing. And I know the first time I wrote my Bible, I'm like, well, I don't know if I should be doing this or not, but I did. So this is just one of the Bibles that I have. Um, and I have written things in there. As you can see, I've underlined uh, passages of scripture and I've put dates in there so I can go back and match that up with my journal and show you when uh, what I was doing and what I was studying. But I want you to look over here in Proverbs. Um, this is in Proverbs 3. This must be a really important passage for me because look at all the times that I've read that passage and gone over it. And it's like, that word is now in my heart and I have that. So I don't want you to think that you can't write in your Bible. Take notes, make suggestions there underlying words that you don't understand. I know sometimes when, when Pastor Ron is preaching, I'll just go, oh, don't understand that word, and I'll underline it, and then I'll go back and look it up. But, you know, other times when I'm trying to remember something, I put tabs in my book, and you can see this book has got red tabs, yellow tabs, pink tabs. Each one of those means something, and if I wanted to go back and go, oh, wonder what the author said about this, I just put a tab in there. So maybe some of those tabs would be things, post-it notes would be things that would help you to memorize that. But I asked Miss Denise to come in today because um, she's got some good ideas for how to memorize scripture. So she's going to come in and talk to us today. So good morning, Miss Denise. Good morning. All right. You're going to talk to us about how we might memorize uh, some scripture? Yes, we've got one to start out with. Okay, great. Okay, so we're going to be doing Psalm 119, 105. Now that's probably the hardest part to remember. Psalms 119, 105. That's right. Isn't Psalm 119 like the longest psalm? Well, we're just doing one verse. Oh, okay, good. Because I don't think verse. I can memorize the whole let's, thing. Let's start one small. Verse. Okay, one verse. Lots okay. of small things add up to a big thing. So. Okay, cool. Okay, so the verse is, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Okay? Light, lamp, feet, path. Okay. Okay, okay. now okay. say it. Your feet, oh no, 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 that's not right. Your light. So you're getting good words. Those are important words that you're coming up with. Maybe a better way to do it would be to do it in a phrase. Okay. Okay, so we can take the first phrase. We can say, your word is a lamp. Your word is a lamp. Now, how can a word be a lamp? Uh, God's word can give me direction. Give you light. Give me light. Yeah, lamp. Okay, got okay. it. Okay. okay. So, my your word is a lamp to my feet. Your word is a lamp to my feet. Now, why would you want to have your feet lit up? So I could see where I was going because okay. otherwise I could stumble. There would be things where I was walking that I couldn't see and I would stumble and fall. Well, this is great because it's giving you meaning to what you're saying and that's going to help you memorize. Okay. All right. Your word is a lamp and to my feet. To my feet. Right. To my feet. Okay. And a light to my path. And a light to my path. And why do you want light on your path? Because you need to see where you're going. Right. So now you've got it. Your word is a lamp to my feet mm -hmm. and a light 
to my path. There you go. All right. Okay, another good way to learn. Will I remember that tomorrow? I think you will. Okay, because I like I memorize it, and then I go back to try to say it again, and it's like I forgot it. Another good way to do it is right before you go to sleep, say it oh, to yourself. Oh, okay. And then first thing when you wake up, say okay. it again. Okay, all right, okay. cool. All right. All right, another good way to do it, if you have a long one that you have a hard time, we're going to just use the same verse, but you can put, use these cards. And you can put one word on each card. Oh. So, what are the words here? Your word is a lamp to my feet. And... Hard to get them apart. A light... For my path. All right, I can do it. So I just did write one word on each card and then just kind of do the cards. So that's that's cool. I can do that one. You can also play a game if you want and mix them up and then try to put them on all oh, in order together. That's a good idea. So. We can do that. We can do that. So memorizing scripture is important to do and to have those words together. Now, what if I don't get the word exactly right? What if I might if I change lamp and light, is that going to be a big deal? Well, let's, what do you think? Uh, I don't think it, I don't think it's a big deal, but I know that like when we're doing Bible quiz, mm -hmm. man, to get points in Bible quiz, you have to have that thing, word the right for word. word. The you right can't place. change the words at all. So just for me though, I think if I have the idea that God's word is a lamp and to my feet and a light to my path. I think I got it. There we go. All right. That's most important. Absolutely. Hey, boys and girls, I hope that helped you today with some ideas for how to do some memory work because memorizing scripture is very important. So have a great day. We'll see you later.